shocking the secret correlation between food chatter and food noise with Manjaro weight loss and Zepbound weight loss. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. I am so excited today to talk to you a little bit about food chatter, food noise, and in this video, we're gonna go through what it is, what you can do to combat it, and what you can do to use it for your strengths and the shocking secrets that I have learned on my 79, oh, I'm just shy of 80 pound weight loss. I am grappling towards that 80 pound weight loss in the last year of being on Manjaro. I'm on Manjaro 15 milligrams. Down below, I have for you a free Manjaro weight loss success checklist. My experience, strength, and hope for you, as I am not a healthcare professional, I will always punch you back to your own doctor or your own healthcare professional. This video is simply my experience, strength, and hope to hope help encourage you, motivate you, and educate on some of the things that have worked well for me. Take what you want and leave the rest. Let's go ahead and dive in when we talk about, and I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Freddie. We, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the correlation between food noise and food chatter with Manjaro weight loss. You may say, what is food noise and food chatter? Okay, if you don't know what it is, let's talk about it. Because either people identify or don't identify has been my experience. Now having worked with thousands of people or not worked with, but been an encourager in my free encouragement group and here on YouTube in front of hundreds of thousands of people. So food chatter, food noise, for me, my definition is where there's food thoughts, food ideations, thinking about food. I've had that my whole life. I was put on my first diet since I was 10 years old and have struggled and grappled with my, my whole life. I've been very successful in many areas of my life except for the weight loss component. And so finding out about GLP-1 medications over a year ago, soon it will be, uh, it's been over 13 and a half months being on Manjaro. Having started taking Manjaro, I knew about the appetite suppression, I knew it would help my A1C, I knew it would help with weight loss, I knew all those things. What I didn't really know a lot about was this food chatter, food noise of having this consumption of food. Now this is when gentlemen dive in frequently and start attacking me and like, oh, you need to go see a therapist and you need to go do this. And I want to say back to you, do you not think I have tried all of those outlets? <laughs> like this is not a matter of willpower. This is not a matter of me not trying things. This is not me being deficient in certain things because I've done the best I possibly could in all of these areas to not want to be consumed with food or to not have food chatter or to not have food noise. It just is. So yes, checking the box, I've been through major, major trauma therapy, as I'm sure a lot of overweight and obese people have, there's baggage that comes with one, for me, I'll use my I statements, I wasn't 100 pounds overweight plus 125 pounds overweight without having some unhealthy relationships with food and some trauma associated with that. But that's not really what today's video is on, it's on specifically this food chatter and food noise. So I would predict, and I want you to predict, if you can identify with, oh yeah, I do think a lot about food, check. My husband, for example, the, my husband, the hot count, he does not. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> when I talk, I'm like, you don't think about that? Like, I spend a good 15, 20 minutes of each day, and that's maybe being conservative on some days when I get stressed. It's more than that. Think about food. Am I eating the right foods? Uh, should I eat off food plan? Uh, am I eating too late to be eating? Am I doing this right? Am I like, ugh, ugh. like you can see there's a lot that goes on with this. And there has been substantial substantial healing with the relationship with food. Please don't come in the comments and be like, you need to do therapy. I have, I am, I have and I am. That's not, we're gonna get into that. But going back over with Manjaro injection the and Zepbound injection, for me substantially, like taking Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, I'm now on Manjaro 15 milligrams, immediately having that reprieve of like, the thoughts of food weren't there. That actually, that 15 to 20 minutes, and if I play out that tape of in a week, how much time was I spending with food noise, food chatter, for me, it was about 15 to 20 minutes per day. So that's, uh, let me do a quick math, Ab about two hours per week. In a month, that's like eight hours. Like, that's a work day in a month of thinking about food. And then, for me, the experience was, it didn't completely go away, because I've done other videos on this. When the food chatter came back or the food noise came back, I, it was a signal for me to talk to my healthcare provider to titrate up. Now, if I can look back in hindsight, because it's 2020, I wish I would have slowed down my titration, meaning increasing my dose, going from a jar of 2.5 milligrams to five milligrams. I wish I would have slowed that down. 
and I've done a, a ton of other videos. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. You can see all of those videos in my 170 plus um, Manjaro videos I've done over the last 13 months. There's a ton of them. So click that like and subscribe button. So not having that food chatter, but I knowing for me that I would have a pause. It didn't permanently go away, but I had a pause. And what I wanted to do with that pause is what Eli Lilly tells me to do, the manufacturer of Manjaro and of Zetbaum. They're both the same thing. They have the same formularities, the same doses. The pens even look the same. They just have different FDA um, approvals. Manjaro is for type 2 diabetics, and uh, Zetbaum is for chronic obesity management, chronic weight management. So, and that subsequently goes into insurance things, but we're not going to talk about that on today's video. We'll talk about that on other videos. So not having that food chatter, knowing that I need to make permanent lifestyle changes, which Eli Lilly tells us it's, it's in two areas. I've made it a third area, but two is one with my diet. So what I'm eating, two with physical activity, what am I doing to move more? And three is the additional healing of that food component, of healing that relationship with food. For me, didn't get 125 plus pounds overweight without having an unhealthy relationship with food. Being morbidly obese and having been on a diet since I was 10 years old, and there was pockets through my childhood and in teenage years and college of where I could lose a lot of weight. I mean, I was in the preliminaries for uh, Miss America. I could drop a lot of weight, but it was not sustainable. So for me, figuring out these Manjaro weight loss solutions and Zetbound weight loss solutions of what is sustainable, like not a flash in the pan, but I mean, it, like, like 10 years I could look back on this video and be like, oh my gosh, that was a catalyst to make these permanent lifestyle changes. So when that food chatter goes down and basically goes away for a bit. It comes back for me. And right now on Manjaro 15 milligrams, this is why I say for me, I wish I could have slowed my titration. I have nowhere else to go. I'm at the absolute ceiling of Manjaro doses. I wish I could, so if you're on your first week of Manjaro 2.5 milligrams or Zetbound your first week 2.5 milligrams, I wish I could go back and be like, stay there for a while use my other tricks, which I've talked about extensively in videos of changing the injection sites, changing the time of day that you do the injections. For me, those are profound effects to be able to get back, to get back that food chatter reprieve, to get back that appetite suppression, to get back some of the other incredible benefits. Having intentionally, for me, having the most common side effects, which are gastrointestinal. I actually welcome those now, which sounds crazy because you hear so many hatty pennies like, there's so many serious side effects. And there are serious side effects, I mean, serious, with Manjaro and Zetbound, I'm not discounting those. But having this break of not having continuous thoughts about food throughout the course of the day and night, even my dreams were about food. Like to have that pause, to have that reprieve, as Oprah would say, silence. <laughs> that silence with food, what am I going to do to replace it? And it goes back to those three areas, changing up what my food is going to be, what my physical activity is going to be, and then healing that relationship with food. So using therapy, using some other tools that we're going to talk about. Physical activity, I'm going to do a whole video on that. Of recently what I've been doing, I've been walking three miles. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. <laughs> just to be the man. No, I'm just kidding. This is, I'm a horrible singer. Okay, so what do I do to replace it would be my first tip for you of what am I doing when I do have those pockets? And for me, it like wasn't, it just kind of came out of nowhere. I'd like look and be like, oh, where's the food noise? It hasn't showed up on time, it's not here. What am I gonna do with that? At nighttime, I don't feel like snacking. I don't feel like thinking compulsively about this. And usually for me, the food noise and food chatter was at nighttime, usually because I had been so strong throughout the day. Um, I've been successful in so many areas of my life. I'm so grateful I'm a mom and a wife. Those are my most important titles, but I run several multi, multi-million dollar companies. Um, and so having these stressors and uh, at nighttime, I went, I was I'm tired. And I've also had my willpower throughout the day. At nighttime usually is when the food chatter has come back. And when I have that reprieve at night, what do I do with it instead? And that's what I want to pose to you. What are you going to do with it instead? If you haven't reached this level of not having food chatter, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing deficient in you. I want you to talk to your healthcare provider further about that because I am not that. I'm a stranger on the internet, unless you're my mom and then you know me, or unless you're my husband or my sister or something like that, unless you know me or my dad or my stepmom. Um, talk to your healthcare provider about that. If you don't have a healthcare provider that you like, that you have a conversation with, I have the best telehealth provider. I'll link it down in the description link below. It's Join Fridays. Use the code QUEEN 
They are amazing. I've used them now for months. I, like, I love them. I, I love how they treat the GLP-1 community, and it's not just me. It's, it's so many counts and countesses have switched to that company for their prescriptions, and they do name brand, meaning like Manjaro, Zepbound, and also compounds as well. So they do both. That's down below. If you want to read my article on it on my countessofshopping.com blog, I have like 50, 60 plus articles all about Manjaro and Zepbound and recipes and food and all of it. So going back over this, what do you replace it with? So once that, for me, I'll use my I statements, when that was gone, what happened for me? Well, obviously I started losing more weight. <laughs> Yay! My mood changed because not having sugar, not having that junk in my system, the junk in my trunk figuratively and literally, um, not having that, my mood literally changed, less depressed, less anxiety. I was able to do more. I was able to be more present. I am able, I shouldn't say, past, it's present. I am to be more present as a mom and a wife, which is my most important thing in this world, is being the best I can be at those. Um, but also one of the side benefits for me is my business has simply made more money, like a lot more money. And I'm not saying that to brag or boast, I'm saying that as encouragement for you. Again, like I don't, I don't need to share that on the internet, I'm sharing that for you to hopefully help encourage you. And in the back of your mind, maybe you're like, maybe I wanna do a side hustle. Or maybe now that I'm not engaging in these unhealthy activities, I can do something else that my heart's desire is. One of our fabulous counts or countesses, they've taken up needlepoint. Another person has done crafting. I forget which, like the crafting stuff that they've always wanted to do, but they're doing. Someone else is like, I'm doing diamond art. I'm like, oh my God, that's the best, I love it. Someone else is like, I'm cooking, I'm learning how to cook more. And I, that for me was also one of my skill sets of, I didn't know really how to cook. I didn't have that as a kid and as an adult of learning how to cook. I just didn't care and also I just didn't know. And so now as an adult, cooking for my family and not having it be slop, sometimes it's still slop, but like my eggs coquette recipe. If you guys have not tried that, it's hotter than hot. It's a French recipe. It's so good. It's really protein laden because we need a ton of protein, right, on our weight loss journey. So for me, what do I replace it with? Business stuff for me has been super exciting and physical activity. That's the other theme. So I'm gonna give you a couple, do you see what's happening here? He's like pushing me. Stop pushing me. This guy, um, you guys know I love, my, the accountant and I love dogs. We love to work with animal rescues. Last year we read thousands of dollars for animal shelter and animal rescues. And we fostered over 10 dogs. It was like 15, it was a lot. It was at least 10, it was a ton. And I paused on the animal rescue stuff because I wanna focus in on walking him every day. I will get back into that though. We have in April, I have a big animal rescue thing. So stay tuned, click that like and subscribe if you're an animal lover, that is coming. Um, that is coming. Um, but anyways, I've walked him now. My goal has been the past five days, maybe six days, maybe seven days, I forget. I need to look at my notes. I'm horrible with dates. I sometimes forget my kid's birthday and I was there. <laughs> like I'm bad with dates. Why am I've had a goal to walk three miles. It takes me about an, it's taken me over an hour. And now my time is down to 52 minutes. Like I'm beating, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna beat my time, my best time from the day before when I do it. <clears throat> Y'all, who is this person? Like literally, when they talk about, when Eli Lily talks about making these permanent lifestyle changes, that to me is not drudgery. Walking my dog, he loves it so much and he's so high energy. He doesn't see me right now. He's crazy. He's a crazy pit bull and we love him so much. Um, he needs the exercise. If he does not, he's a bear to deal with. I need the exercise because my brain needs to have that outlet. Now that there is more of a reprieve on it, letting that go. And then for me also, the third thing that I've done with that, and again, I'm posing these examples for my life, not to like brag or boast, but to help encourage you. My experience, strength and hope, take what you want and leave the rest, is I've increased my spirituality. My connection with the Lord has been amazing. When I'm on those walks, it's my prayer time of like the cadence and rhythm helps me to have meditation time, to listen to meditations. There's walking meditations. I use the app called Waking Up. And um, we have it for our family. My eight-year-old will ask me like, hey, can we do a meditation now? Like it's so helpful to quiet the brain. It's not ADD. It's not that, it's like my, and I always thought it was freakish of like, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. Actually, it's one of my both blessing and curses. If I can use it in the right direction, that consumption of it can go really, really well or really obviously not well with 125 pounds overweight, obese, morbidly obese, and so not using it and directing that in the right manner. And so for me, having my spirituality increased has been amazing to feel this loving source with it is like, 
one of the most beautiful things and I, I hate crying on these videos I hate when I get emotional but I'm just gonna allow it I feel very uncomfortable right now and I don't want to cry because I feel very embarrassed but I'm just gonna do it because it has been so incredible it's been so incredible and through pausing and having that pause in the brain to be able to do other things that I've only dreamed about I honestly thought when I stuttered Manjaro that it it would work for other people because so many things, everything for me has failed, basically. Keto, Weight Watchers, and all of, I've been on every single diet, Jenny Craig, everything, Nutrisystem, everything. And so to have something the past year plus that's worked and to give me peace, I literally, it's been the best year of my life. It's been the best year of my life. And that's including having had some serious stuff happen of a family member's been in and out of the hospital and even throughout all of that. Like, it's been the best year of my life. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for our community. And so having the support, and that's why that free encouragement group, I don't know if I talked about it yet, I forget what I was talking about. Having that has been so powerful for me because of the encouragement of other people who are going through the exact same thing and it's a really safe space. Um, I'll link, it's in the description link below, but being able to have these things that I never, never, and I don't like using superlatives, but never imagined were possible or I thought would happen for other people, but just not for me because I was defective. And now that I know that that's a lie and that's actually not true and that I can change things, like my business has increased so much because I'm doing an executive production here for this amazing incredible project if you guys are in the private group you know something major happened to me earlier this week if you're in the private group you know don't say in the comments don't say in the comments don't say in the comments because it's not a done deal yet but to have these incredible things that is because the food chatter and food noise has subsided subsided having at least two hours if not more back of my life of not having food chatter and food noise has been profound now whew, i want to stop crying i don't want to keep crying anymore i don't want to mess up my makeup um Having uh, the 15 milligrams, I have been on a weight stall. It's been actually quite frustrating. It's driving me bananas. I know I'm gonna get past, I'm like a few ounces away from the 80 pound weight loss. His nemesis is gonna come, he may bark. Feel free to leap ahead if you want on the video. You can see when his legs move back as you fast forward it. He hasn't started barking yet. Um, the food noise and food chatter is back for me, which is why I've been at a weight stall. It's been one of the reasons. Today, I am having a reprieve because I had my shot last night. I switched up my times, which again, watch those other videos. If you're like, oh man, I'm in a weight stall, change up your shot location, change up the time of day. It worked for me. I'll use my I statements for my experience, strength, and hope. Take what you want, leave the rest. Um, so I have to go back to what are the permanent lifestyle changes I've made. Food and exercise and meditation and increasing my spirituality with that. Healing that relationship with food. Whew. and that's hard for me. It's hard. It's really, really hard. But if it wasn't, like, it, what's that saying? Like, if it wasn't hard, then you wouldn't have the, I don't know. It, it's hard for, it, I'm embracing the hard. I, it's not saying, why is this me anymore? I'm not saying that anymore. Like, this is, this is my life, and I'll take it, and I'm grateful for it. So what can you do to replace when you do have those pockets? So today I'm having that pocket. I just took my shot. I am so nauseous and so full feeling, which I'm embracing as well. I'm like, yay. Um, and what will you do is my question for you when it does come back. Because for me it has, but maybe you'll be one of those anomalies or maybe your lot is you just, it will never come back for you. Maybe, I, I, that's my prayer and hope for you. I hope, I hope if you struggled the way I have with this and people who have know, like you know, if you struggled with food chatter and food noise. And so having that reprieve from Manjaro and from Zetbound, for me, it's meditation, using that waking up app. They don't know me from Adam. I pay for it. We paid once. It's expensive. You pay once, but it's a lifetime membership. It's amazing. And they have it for kids too. My husband uses it. I bought my own. We love that. I'll use it. They have walking meditations. I'll use it when I'm walking. Number two is what movement are you going to do? right? Because that's going to help with the stress relief as well. For me, walking the dog makes sense. Like it just, I canceled my gym membership. It was um, almost $100 because I had childcare included on that. And I just wasn't going. I'm walking the dog a bunch. And we have in our house, um, blessed to be able to have weights here and lifting and things like that. So that movement piece, so important. And then number three is the food choices. 
So I have been trying, um, I'm gonna do another video on it, so don't, I'm just gonna do a brief overlay with it, but really upping my protein. I have been doing 100 to 120 grams of protein per day. My calories is around like 1,800, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, Cause I'm trying something different. You guys are gonna be like, what is it? I have worked with a GLP-1 dietitian. If you want that, that's down below. If you want my discounted Weight Watchers um, tracker, that's in the description link below as well. This is totally different than that. I'm trying something different because what I'm doing is not working, right? I'm having this food chatter. I, I've been up and down like where I, I gain four pounds and then I lose it because it's water weight and it's crap that I'm eating. So I'm trying something different to have a different outcome and really focusing in on 150 grams of protein, but lean protein. And I'm gonna see how that goes for the next couple of days. Today I'm really, really full. So I have my plan, I'm gonna go, I have, I have my whole meal plan figured out for today. Um, but one of the things that I wanna encourage you to, some tools and resources, is literally just your sneakers. <laughs> A pair of walking shoes, these are the ones I did, they look disgusting, but they are my favorite walking shoes. I have. Gucci shoes that I love, but these are $23.99. I'll link them down in the description link below. They're easy for me to put on because they just slip on to walk the dog. There's no excuses with them. They're very comfortable. I don't. I can wear them with socks. I can wear them without socks. Like they're cloud feeling um, and they're on Amazon. I love them. And I did a whole video on best sneakers for obese women. I love those. So find yourself some good sneakers, literally just walking around the block. You do not need to make a big I'm gonna do underwater Pilates. Like you don't need to do, if you wanna do that, you rock on and you do that. But it doesn't need to be this big production. Like just literally go walk around the block. If you can't go outside, go walk your stairs, right? Go walk your stairs for five minutes. There is, and my husband's account wanted me to tell you guys, if you are interested in this, tell me in the comments, a chair yoga. So if you are, and literally this was me at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I physically couldn't lift weights because I physically couldn't. If you are like that and you wanna do like weightlifting but a chair yoga that is with lifting but within a chair, tell me. I will do a whole video on that if you are interested in that. I don't know, but the account and I were talking and I was like, I wish I had um, known more about that earlier on, right? Because now I can do more stuff. But with the 79, almost 80 pound weight loss, ounces away, ounces away. It's gonna be, it's coming. So that's an option. Um, having my water rotation, I, I feel like I talk about this on every video, but there's new counts and countesses, so I feel like they need to know the information too. Having some sort of system for your water. Um, do you have a system? Do you have water? I love Simple Modern. I also love Stanley's. I love those too, but I've actually moved more towards Simple Modern. I'll link those in the description link below. Because on Stanley's, you gotta clean that top. You gotta move that one piece in the middle. If you don't, it will get mold on it. Kristen told me, and she was genius. Thank you, Kristen. Or maybe it was Rachel. I forgive me, forgive me whoever it was. One of you amazing countesses. So I like these, you can get them in um, 20, 25, 28, I like 40 ounces. I'll link those down below. Two, electrolytes. I don't have electrolytes every day, but they definitely help and it's noticeable for me. I use Element, they've given graciously given us a discount on their website, get eight free sticks with any purchase. I no longer purchase supplements directly on Amazon. I purchase everything on Amazon except for supplements. My supplements, I go directly to the website of the vendor. And it comes, the shipping comes just as fast to be honest. Um, so for Element, you can get the eight free sticks, use the link down below for cold drinks and then they have for hot drinks too. So I'll put in my coffee, things like that. This is very, very, very beneficial at nighttime with that food shatter when it does come back to be like, okay, I'll save my electrolyte for the evening hours. It does not have added sugar, so it doesn't spike my um, my glucose or, you know, it's not gonna spike my numbers with it. It has in there potassium, magnesium, and sodium. Um, the sodium is not like table salt, which is inflammatory and people freak out about for blood pressure. It's sodium, different. Table salt is stripped of nutrients. Sodium is not like different. And Element Electrolytes has the whole scientific thing. Again, I'm not a doctor or medical, and so I don't want to start going into that because that's not my jam. But they have studies to, that talk about that. If you're worried about like blood pressure related to that, I hear that somewhat frequently. If it's too sweet for you, like the flavoring, like the raspberry, then use more water. If it's not enough, use more, right? So um, raspberry salt's my favorite. My son, the Duke, is eight, is watermelon is his. He plays actively sports. And so he gets leg cramps, that is what helps. So that's, I give him Element. I don't give him like blue dye Gatorade anymore because this has no dyes, no sugars, any of that. Um, so going back over to the food cheddar of the replacement for it, 
knowing that uh, this is the other thing I haven't said it. I want to make sure I say it because the, the second time I'm recording this video, yeah, I hate when that happens. So then I'm like, what did I already say? If you haven't had this reprieve with food chatter, you know what food chatter is, you know what food noise is, but you haven't had it yet. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing deficient in you. I know some people, when you see things on YouTube, it can make you feel less than, and that is not my intention by any means. In fact, I want to be the source for inclusion and positivity and encouragement and light. Like that's my whole like jam. That's why I do this. Like I don't, this is why I do that, is to help encourage. If you haven't had the food chatter reprieve yet and you have, you still are experiencing that, I want you to go and just continue along your journey and know that it may come in the future for you. For me, having had outside help because I didn't get 125 pounds overweight without having some trauma associated with that that needed to be healed and is still continuing to be healed, right? Obviously an unhealthy relationship with food. I don't deep dive into this too much on the internet because it's so personal and this is really personal and I don't feel super comfortable sharing all of it, but know on the back end, not in front of the camera, that there was some rough, hard, deep stuff I've been through in my life that I wasn't 125 pounds overweight just for kicks and giggles. It was because of a couple of things, a lot of things. And now as an adult taking, oh, that happened as a kid, taking ownership of that, of I am not going to let that continue to plague me and to continue to show up. So when I have the food noise and food chatter come back, for me, really, it is like a battle of good and evil, so to speak, um, because there has been such hard stuff that has happened as to why I had the coping tools that I had with food. So when that food chatter does come back for me, it is even deeper than that of like, no, I'm not going to allow this to win. Absolutely not. And so having been on this weight stall now for the past couple of weeks, it's like, no, I refuse to allow that darkness to win. It is going to be healthy, healing, focusing in on the positivity of it. Like, I refuse. You know how you get, like, sometimes, like, you notice for, like, two-year-olds where they're like, I refuse, and they, like, clamp down. Like, that's, a, I refuse. It's not going to win. It's not. I'm going to get past this, this weight stall that I'm on. So the point that I'm trying to make with the food chatter and food noise, if it comes back, it's another opportunity to learn, and that's kind of one of my final points, is to learn and grow. It's to practice what you've learned with practical application on there, right? And so if you haven't had that reprieve yet, know that you're practicing for when it does come also. And start thinking of what am I going to do when it does come? Like start putting that out into the ether. What am I going to do when that does come, right? Because it is coming. It's on its way. Um, and it made me, like me, I needed some extra outside help to really help jumpstart and facilitate that. And that's been the best choice I could have ever made. There's no shame in that game of having outside help. No shame at all. And it's been the best choice for me to help be the best person I can be, right? I feel like that's always also one of the best things for my son is uh, he'll probably need a therapist. And that's great because I will, he knows the ability to ask for help right? Like the ability to ask for help is a beautiful tool. And so I want to encourage that too. If you need to ask for help from somebody who is a trained professional, I am not, <laughs> I am not. This is simply my experience, strength and hope of what has worked well for me, but there's a lot of people out there who are. Um, so I hope this has been helpful with food chatter, food noise and the science behind it too. If people want to know the science and things like that. That is not my jam. Um, but I did want to share my experience as a result of the science of how beneficial it has been. And if Eli Lilly, you're watching, call me. Or if you know anyone in Eli Lilly, have them call me. I would love, and I'm putting this out there in 2024, to have a working relationship with Eli Lilly because Manjaro and Zepbound have changed my life so much. So if you know of anybody, <laughs> Please refer the Countess of Shopping, me, Elizabeth Skordinsky, uh, to them because I very much, that is my heart's desire is to work with them. And um, I need a contact, so help me, friends. Um, free resources for you down below. One, my free Manjaro Weight Loss Success uh, Checklist. Two, my free group. There's thousands of people in it now. If you don't answer all the questions, you're not going to be admitted in. You can't jump the line on that. You need to answer all the questions. That is twofold. One, it keeps out riffraff. There's a lot of spammers. I do not allow that in the group or people selling stuff. I'll put links in there of things that have worked well for me, but I don't allow anyone to put any affiliate links, for example. If you want to put pictures in there of what's worked well for you, that's totally fine. A picture is fine, but not like a link because those can be people self-profiting, like stuff like that's one example of many. Um, 
the other thing in that group is people get really honest, right? It's confidential. The stuff I share in there is confidential. For y'all, it's confidential. And so keeping that in a private safe space, of course, it's the internet, but you, it, as safe as it can be as what I monitor on there, which is why before any post goes out, for example, I have to approve it because <laughs> I want to make sure it's not. If we're talking about compounds in that group too, um, there's some stipulations and rules on that. Like there's just certain bookends to help keep it a really safe and healthy space. Um, for everybody, right? As we're all on different points on our journey. As we learn more about GLP-1 medications, like we are at the genesis of this. They've been out for a long, long time, 2005. They've been out for a long time, but with the new, uh, with Eli Lilly and Nova Nordisk, with their uh, Wegovy and, and, and Ozempic, and I'm sure more coming out. We've got so many in the clinical trials, it's exciting to see where GLP-1 medication is going. So sweet friends, if this has been of value for you, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Share this with your bestie. If you've got anyone who is on GLP-1s, share these videos with them. It always makes my heart so excited when people are like, I shared it with my best friend, or when people in the private Facebook group, which is linked down below, share it with a friend. It says invited by so-and-so. I always get, I get tickled by that. So um, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Uh, oh, we have two more things. One, what are you doing today to move you closer to your goals because we are an action focused group we are not just talkers we are doers what are you doing today to move you closer to your goals tell me down below and number two we do an emoji of the day and that shows me that you've made it this far in the video and it helps me to get to know you better and secondly i will pray over you or if you don't believe in prayer send positive um, uplifting thoughts for you so today's emoji is going to be a ghost been talking about Halloween here, even though it's cold outside. We've been talking about Halloween here in our house already. So today's emoji is a ghost. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shop and count my blessings because life is delicious. Make it a powerful day. Bye, friends. Bye, guys.